Hey guys, this week on the Awesome Cast, I got my Google Glass back. We're going to talk about Google Glass 2. What's the difference? Is it better? Is it worse? And we're also going to talk about a lot of news. Some people get in trouble in movie theaters. Poor, meaningless basketball teams getting Google Glass to try to be relevant again. All that and so much more in a blast from the past. Awesome Cast. I'm getting awesome. You're getting awesome. We're getting awesome. Yeah, that's what I said there. Hey guys, it's the Awesome Cast 182 on Michael Sorg here in the studio in Pittsburgh, PA. Ready to have some fun, ready to talk tech, talk geekiness with me. I got some of my compatriots here uh, joining me also from the Pittsburgh region here. Uncle Crappy himself, Mike Pound of Beaver County Times. So, How you guys doing? And you're, and you're drinking, you're drinking. What shows what you're drinking this week? Uh, the bottle I just opened was a leftover Christmas, that's not that one, it's this one, um, from Victory. Uh, in sort of in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, uh, winter cheers. It's sort of a saison, a little bit spicy, um, but but uh, not overly so. So it's a uh, it, it was a nice kind of break from the normal Christmas beers. Um, nice. And and you can hear me talk about that on my on my new beer show, which maybe we can we can mention later. Yeah, I noticed you've been doing a lot of new video stuff, and I have been wanting to ask you about that. We'll we'll get into that here in a little okay. bit. Um, okay. And of course. Uh, with us from the Bronx, New York, is Mad Mike, who uh, joins us very often. He's a very integral part of the Wrestling Mayhem show. How you doing, sir? It's cold, and there are wolves after me, sword. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It looks like Hoth outside my window. It does. Hey, you, hey that's what I woke up to this morning as well. Um, so you're you're getting what, what left us like three hours ago. That's... Oh, I don't know if you guys got it this bad, but yeah. Uh, no, you're, you're, you're getting it a lot worse oh, than are they, you yeah, They're getting from a different yeah. angle there. We're, I think we're almost going to be at a Ron Jeremy level of snow, Sorg. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Oh, moving on. This is, the, of course, the awesome cast. <laughs> um, and, of course, we're recorded here every Tuesday at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time at live.sorgatronmedia.com. You can join us in the chat. And uh, give us your feedback. And let us know, hey, is there any stories you think we should be talking about? You can let us know there as well. You can also follow us and all that stuff. Uh, suggest stories and everything at, at AwesomeCast on Twitter. We're also on Facebook, on Google+. Uh, you can also drop us a line to AwesomeCast at SorgatronMedia.com. Or just go to SorgatronMedia.com. we got a nice little contact page uh, to help you out there as well. We're available on iTunes, Roku, via the Blip TV app. Uh, of course, on YouTube, on Stitcher, and we're also showing up now on Spreaker, if you're into that kind of thing. Uh, so with that, let's get into the awesome things of the week that we've all selected here. Um, I, I guess I'll go first here. Uh, I have, you notice something's back on my face, if you're on the video version here. Um, so you got a thing on your face. I got a thing on my face. Sork, you have something on your face. Right there. Um, my Google Glass came back in. Google Glass 2, I guess, is the official moniker for this. <laughs> Uh, is, it, is there an electric boogaloo after it? Uh, it should be, right? Um, <laughs> wow. So, so I mean, so basically, and I haven't looked at um, exactly. I don't think they, they have them really anywhere. The specs. Supposedly, there's a little bit of a spec bump to it, so it's supposed to be a little faster and everything. Um, they, as far as what was included, I got another pair of shades to go with it. Um, nice. I haven't compared them to last the last one see if there's much difference uh, uh they attach pretty much the same way where you like kind of spin them in the middle here and they kind of wedge in you know um okay. um here uh, i got another bag and it came with a new plug and and, and usb because i did have to send back the original plug and usb which makes me wonder if there's a uh, ampage difference between this like you know how you go from like an ipad to an iphone um you know, the other thing um, is you can probably see here this little earpiece. Oh yeah. Um, this is it's been kind of nice. I've been having it on here um, while I've been doing the shows while we did the the movie minute earlier. And I'll take it off so you guys can kind of see where it is. It attaches to the USB port. I feel like I break it every time I pull it out. Um, and that's all there is to it. Oh wow, oh, wow. that's incredibly okay. tiny. I'm gonna lose this thing so bad. <laughs> it <laughs> is not lasting. <laughs> Um, they have a stereo version of this that will actually go to both ears, uh, mm -hmm. apparently for eighty-five dollars. But yeah, okay, eighty-five dollar pair of headphones. Okay, an eighty-five dollar pair of earbuds. 
Yeah, that's that's a little much. But I mean, I guess considering the price point, considering how low you know low people have them, they don't they're not making a lot of these. Mm -hmm. uh, so I guess considering the price of the device, um, that kind of makes sense. Um, so generally, I and apparently I accidentally got the charcoal one, which is great because actually when I was talking about because this is the one where I can get the prescription lenses. Um, which I can see, it looks like I can get them for as low as a hundred dollars, uh, which isn't too bad for it's like what is kind of a custom pres pres prescription lens, I guess. Um, mm -hmm. That's I mean, not bad at all for for something in in this. And I did read a story, and we'll probably get to it here a little later, um, where somebody says they spent six hundred dollars for their prescription lenses. I don't think I'm going to be able to do that, uh, but I'm really looking forward to get away from this whole kind of clunky setup with these kinds of rims and everything, uh, and. and I, you know, sometimes in the morning, I'll just put the glass on and say, someday I'll just be able to do this. Mm -hmm. and everything will be nice. So you're, you're over completely over the self-conscious thing about about wearing those around enough so that they could be your, your normal glasses? Um, yeah, I think for the most part, like sometimes like since I've gotten them back, I haven't bothered to, to, to wear them out. Like I had a lunch meeting uh, today and I just mm -hmm. I don't feel like just going out in the cold. And also it's cold. I'm kind of worried about wearing these things outside in the cold, too. Um, so mm -hmm. I've been conscious of that. So I wonder about that. Um, I think when I get my lenses, I'm going to have my regular glasses very readily available. Yeah. Um, because I feel like there's definitely situations where the battery dies and I don't want to take these off and charge them. Right. Uh, right. 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 So mm -hmm. I, I, I think, I think it's one of those where, you know, I have this bag that the glass goes in. I'm thinking my glasses go in here all the rest of the time. Yeah, that makes sense. In a case or something, it, it, it seems to make sense to me, um, because uh, until this thing, and we'll see how the batteries with this. Th uh, so far, I haven't seen it go dead. But again, I've only had this since Friday, and I really haven't had much time over the weekend to to do a lot with it. Um, mm -hmm. I try, I've been trying to detect on my weekends lately, um, so so there's that. Um, as far as um, you know, what's new in it? Uh, it loaded up everything pretty pretty handily like like you know i've had this before thank you riz wait mike was that you that was mike thank you for the ascii penis now that those are back on my face um i, I figure i wanted to get your reaction live as we were doing the show yeah so nice, demoing. Nice work. thank you very nice much work, um <laughs> I guess it does feel kind of sturdy. Like I said, I kind of accidentally got the charcoal. I had the black before, and when yeah. I was there, like, oh, what color do you want? I picked charcoal. I didn't see a black, and just I think I just kind of presumed. Mm -hmm. but, uh, but like I said, my, uh, my wife said that's the color that she thought I should go with with, with the lenses because it, it kind of looks nice. Mm -hmm. um, the other than the headphones, which the headphones make sense. I haven't. I listened to a little bit of music. Tried to, uh, you know, of course, brought up some Stan Bush, the Touch on YouTube. Right. <laughs> That's my kind of standard if I want to bring something up to listen to. Um, but also is, let me get screencast up here so I can kind of show it. It's not connecting. Okay, I can't do that tonight. Um, so there's the wink feature. And I hope like, it's not, not that you can really, um, um, you can see my side since this is what I can bring up on my phone. Um, but basically all it is, and you train, it train, it shows, it shows you a video, you kind of figure out the timing. So basically all you have to do is wink, and I'll show you here on video. So I just do this, and I just took a picture. Oh, they did add that. They Holy did add crap. that. So okay. I remember we were talking about that when, when you first got in New York and how yep. dangerous that could be. Yeah, uh, this, is officially, <laughs> this is officially creepy. This is officially yep. creepy now. Um, <laughs> <laughs> because I mean, you can completely be like, "Hey, baby," and it has to be very like, you know. Should I just took Google comments. at this point be, be trying to make these less creepy? Is that yeah? That I'm be really a surprised. Goal? I'm really surprised they did that. So at, at first, it was like I outlined. I remember outlining. It's like, no, look, if you're taking a picture, I have to do this, or I have to say, "Okay, glass, take a picture." Mm -hmm. but, but no, no, not share with that person. Um, so, I mean, it was very outward that it needed to happen, right? Now it's when it works. <laughs> when it works, when, it, when, I've, when I've figured it out. Um, and that's it. I mean, I get a chime. If I, I'd have to have it muted, it does pop up here. So there yeah. is that. But, man, this is kind of a voyeur's dream, isn't it, at this point? Wow. Wow. 
Wow. Okay. Okay. I. I I think the last time I was on, we, we had a discussion about expectations of privacy and, and um, how those probably, if you're being realistic, how those should probably be diminished in this day and age. But but that's that's a bit much. <laughs> I mean, now yeah. granted, now granted, it's a nice feature. If you, do, mm-hmm. if you take that out of the equation, you take the, 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 the voyeurism idea out of it. Yeah. Um, which you know, let's be honest, you can do it with this. But the the idea that I can just look and, and just take be taking pictures, um, it's a if you know, I, there was videos before of like a paraplegic that was using these. Now she can take pictures. You know, yeah. Um, yeah. you know, I you know, I, I I think of a friend of ours that 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 you know has you know problems you know uh you know reaching up and grabbing and stuff now he can yeah. that's one yeah. less thing he needs to reach up and, and deal with or, or try to right. deal with his phone or something um it's a real i have my hands full and 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 i can do that without you mm-hmm. know going through a command string with okay you know not in your head okay glass take a picture right. you know um which didn't even work that time <laughs> it's a nice thing <laughs> but but it's definitely I'm glad they took this long. That we're like, because you can imagine if they had that feature right out the gate. Oh, this wouldn't. Oh, wow. That would have been the first debate. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I think it's still it's gonna be the first debate now with this new one because I remember when you were talking about that. I'm like, yeah, that just confirms I will never get a Google Glass for myself because I will get in trouble. <laughs> for you just, you just like, don't trust yourself, right? No, I don't at all. Especially like, God forbid, if I'm at a bar. Yeah, yeah. Like, like I can, like, I mean, you know, if I'm just walking around the city, I'm not just going to go randomly start winking at people taking their pictures. But it's, it's almost like Jarvis to the point where all you have to do is wink and you can have, like, face recognition. And that's the other thing. And, and Google has said yeah. for a while, they have face recognition ready to go for this pretty much. They just haven't yet. Again, that creepy factor. So, yeah. Um, so, you know, again, it's, it's, um, I mean, that's the biggest kind of updates with it. I mean, it really did kind of suck down the battery when I first loaded it up. Cause when you connect it, it will go mm-hmm. ahead, you know, much like when you, you know, do an Android phone or now with iCloud, it just sucks down all the apps. So I just got mm-hmm. screens on screens on activating, uh, this app and this app and this app and this. Um, so, uh, it, you know, it is nice though. They do have, and let's see if I can, like it's still actually up here. Uh, there's a glass next steps when you start up. One of them is connect to your mobile phone, and it's and it sets steps you through that. Add contacts. Uh, so it steps again something I did before. Set up the on head detection. The part where I take this off and, and, and it's upside down, it'll actually kind of turn it into kind of a sleep mode, so it's not still receiving uh, messages yeah. and everything. Yeah. Um, and the other one was set up wink. So and that's the nice and I can't. I'll, the fun part is I don't think I can get rid of this until I finish all the things and I still haven't connected to my phone yet. Um, but other than that, it, it's nice to have this back. I've definitely mm-hmm. missed it after that week there. Um, again, being hi, thanks, thanks, Juggalo John. What's up uh, for for that ASCII? Uh, you know what? Again, that's the point where the show gets dark. <laughs> can't do that again. Jeez. Um, but no, good to have them back. It does feel sturdier. It does like I, you know, this always felt a little flimsy on the last version. If you mm-hmm. guys on audio, the the upper part where the glass is, and there's that little arm that that kind of moves back and forth. So I know the first one, like it felt like that. Mike, I showed you the plate at the bottom, just felt like it was ready to pop off. So, um, they have more instructions in the packaging. I notice. Mm-hmm. So, uh, and I know if you sign up and get accepted into this now, you don't go to New York. You don't have to go to one of their boutiques in California or anything like that. They, they will just send it to you and you're on your own. Um, so I think it's enough has been out there. You can get help for one thing mm-hmm. if you can't mm-hmm. figure it out. Uh, but again, I, I think for the most part, if you're getting into it, you've been watching it, you've been reading the problems, they're, 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 I think guessing that you're an informed individual. Um, we'll see what happens when it goes public, but <laughs> I'd imagine the hardest part would be like figuring out how it sits on your face. Because I remember oh, yeah. when when you got it, we were having issues with that. Just and like, I still can't believe how many how much problem I had with getting that concept, you know, versus now. Because I, I think I think it's because when you put on like 
glasses, you expect to see something around here. Like, mm-hmm. to kind of bridge it, and you don't. With the Google and glass. that's one thing I noticed. When people put this on, um, they always put it so the, the nose pieces are way over here. And I say, no, 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 you have to line it up this way, you know. Um, that, that's the biggest issue I have. But I've never had anybody that I've tried showing it to uh, that's had as many problems as, 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 as I had there that day. Um, so, so, yeah, Google Glass 2, it's back. Uh, I'm looking forward to get the prescription frames and, and uh, you know, see how that goes. Um, but, no, yeah, I do like, again, like I said, I, I, I've just been putting it on by itself. And, again, I can't really see the screen because I am nearsighted, so I'm not going to see it. It's just like looking at a screen all the way over there. Um, so just to be like, yeah, I could do this. Yeah, this would be nice. Um, and I think it's a little less conspicuous when it's your glasses, you know, instead of this double up thing uh, mm-hmm. that, that we have going on here. You know, and I even even with these frames, I, I don't even think I have these on straight. I think they're like just... You know, consistently yeah, crooked. Close. Yeah, a little bit, a little bit. <laughs> so that's enough about that. I, we actually do have a lot of glass stuff to talk about here. But uh, which which one of you guys want to go next for your awesome thing of the week? Oh, Mike, go ahead. Well, all right. Well, my awesome thing is not tech related, unless you count Super Bowl ads for yogurt as tech related. <laughs> what? But <laughs> <laughs> but um, I. I mean, I was kind of a last-minute addition to the show, so Sork told me to find something awesome. And I found that there is going to be a reuniting of the Full House dads in a Super Bowl commercial this year. And I just think that's pretty great. And I love like that Super Bowl commercials are kind of getting into the more like internet age where we want to see reunions and stuff like that come back and we want to see things like that happen. Then that's that's totally what's driving that too. I think that's that's oh, yeah. exactly right. Awesome. Um, is that is that the biggest buzz coming into the Super Bowl for ads this year? Um, that and Arnold Schwarzenegger. What's he doing? Apparently, he is doing an ad involving ping pong. There they were had... there were teaser ads for that in the um the, the conference championship games on Sunday. Oh, yeah. No. Schwarzenegger in, in this like old style sweatsuit, like the seventies with the stripes and stuff, and zipped up and long hair and I think a sweatband. Um, and I, I know I'm I'm curious as to I believe to see it was an American go. sweatband. Too, I wanna like throw a yeah. instead of a Super Bowl party, I wanna throw a Super Bowl ad party. We I'm I'm actually Do doing something similar to that sort. Oh really? Where we're taking uh, we're going to have a drinking game based on the ads. If there's oh. a monkey, everyone drinks. If there's a ce- if there's a celebrity, everyone drinks. Um, and we're also each going to pick a brand. And for every Pepsi ad, one person drinks. For every Bud Light ad, one person drinks. So oh, wow. it's going to be kind of who, who defines what a celebrity is? Um, is, is Schwarzenegger still a celebrity? Is that, is I, I think Schwarzenegger is going to be the big. I think he's also, gonna be the big one. I mean, there's oh, also, and there's supposedly is, a is Bob Saget still a celebrity? A Scarlett Johansson ad is supposed to be during the Super Bowl too, Everybody so that is that's always Everybody intriguing. Everybody drinks. I bet you see YouTube celebrities as well. Do they count? Uh, yeah, we've seen um, Psy doing um, pistachio commercials, so why not? <laughs> <laughs> awesome, awesome. What about you, Uncle Crappy? What do you got? I I sent you the picture. Yes. Um, I, and I. I the uh, the Olympics, Winter Olympics, are coming up uh, in in a couple weeks, uh, halfway through February. Um, I, I easily, far and away, love the Winter Olympics more than I do the Summer Games, and probably I, I, I ski and you know I, I like ice skating and I love watching the hockey, but but Olympic curling is the coolest thing ever. And these guys, that is a picture of the uh, Norwegian curling team. Uh, they they got themselves some fame in 2010. Uh, by wearing just like these turtlenecks and these crazy pants. Uh, this is a picture that was taken of, of them today, um, modeling some of the, uh, the stuff that they will be wearing in the games this year. Um, I don't really have a way to relate this to tech in any sense other than uh, curling itself is kind of nerdy, and um, it seems to be very popular with uh, with our group. So I, I'm gonna I'm gonna say it it, it fits, um, and it's it's definitely my my awesome. Thing. There there is a Jonathan Colton song about curling. Have you heard it? 
I haven't. No. I'll have to send that along to you. Uh, uh, okay. Ch Chachi, if you got if you got a YouTuber that handy, can you tweet that over at Uncle Crappy? I know you uh, you know a lot of that stuff. Um, but uh, yeah, yeah, it's 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 a pretty fun one. So um, okay, okay, I'll be, right. I'll be looking for it. In talking the Winter Olympics, mm -hmm. Ooh, which Winter Olympic event would you like to see the athlete have Google Glass on? Well, I think hockey would be fun. Oh, yeah, I've seen some hockey before. Uh, I would geez. say the ice luge. luge. I was luge was the next one I was going to say. Uh, uh, luge or, Not the two-man luge, though. Not the two-man luge. I don't need cool. any of that going on, but just a regular luge. I think, I think mm. uh, uh, the, the stunt skiing would be fun. Yeah. Like, definitely. I, I, I hope... I really hope they are doing something where somebody's going to... I guess they couldn't do it in probably like actual competition, mm -hmm. probably. Yeah. Um, but the funny thing is, it, it, this is nothing new, though, because we've had helmet cams in sporting yep. events for the longest time. Yep. But I guess there's certain cases where they that equipment probably would be too heavy, like maybe the skiing and everything like that. But I still, I still don't see them using it because... It's still something on your face that could take away from what you're doing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, in something that's a very, very precision thing, as in the skiing and the luge and everything like that. So I wonder if that would be a concern that anybody would, like. I kind of would be surprised if somebody would partake in that. I don't know. I, I, they're confident enough in it. Maybe they would. I think I, I, maybe in the in the half pipe where uh, the skiers and snowboarders. Um, that's not something that's dependent on speed. Um, it is sort of precise motion thing, and and you have to kind of. Your head sort of leads the the, the tricks that you're doing, um, but that would be a really cool perspective, and I don't I don't know that it would interfere a whole lot in in, in those runs. That would be a that'd be a really cool thing to see. Mm -hmm. But then again, I mean, they, they've worn it for hockey, they've worn it for baseball. I wore it for mm -hmm. softball. Um, you know, I mean, if, if that's not in your way, then I guess I guess it's okay. I'd love to see it. That'd properly be, secured. Be. That's the other thing I want is, and I think I've seen a couple of solutions on the Google Plus board I follow, is I need something that, I want something that's like, you know, even if it's like that strap, like you can get on your glasses to yeah. make sure this thing doesn't go off. You know, just as a, an extra backup, just in case. Like, say if I was playing softball again with it, uh, you know, just be sure, you know. Um, you, I'm buy not, those at, you buy those at Kennywood for, for like three bucks. They're uh, roller coaster straps. Would they just they, stick on the back of the lenses, and you tighten them in the back, and they're they're snug on your head. Would they work though? I think we mean the back of the lenses, because remember, there's this big. Not the back. What's that? I don't remember what those look like now. Oh, here, just uh, as a reminder, because I have this big bulgy side to it, mm -hmm. and I don't think you can get something around there. I mean, we could definitely attach right here, but. Uh yeah, you would need something different. On, yeah. on the other side, it'd be easy, but that's not gonna. Yeah, that'd be a little bit of a problem. So. I'm sure we can work something out before softball season. Now. <laughs> well, so, so is the goal that I'm going to be wearing these like 24 seven during? I, the game? Yeah, I think so. I, know, I think that's that's we'll, going to have to. We'll record the entire. I, I, I pity the poor person that uh, goes to you know push you out of the box a little bit, Sork. Because <laughs> if, if they go for headshots, that's well, an expensive no, headshot. No, but it works out well because because when I did get a headshot. Um, because I'm, I'm right-handed, so it's, it's this side, the, the important parts on this side, I'd be all right. All right? Right. Because, right. you know, you would think, you would think, <laughs> you would hope, you would hope. Maybe I'll just wait until they're actually released and there's only, there are only a couple hundred dollars for these, like, in just in case, you know. <laughs> That'll they, probably I, be your first viral video, though, so they, Yeah. Exactly. Google, Google Glass of getting beamed with a softball. This jackass <laughs> loses his Google Glass by playing a sport like an idiot. Um, <laughs> as I fix and put them back on. You know, I do like with these, though, because I can just kind of tuck them in underneath my, my frames the way they kind of work out here. Because um, they're kind of like a full frame kind of thing. So... I'm sorry for all the visuals for our audio listeners today. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I will clip this out so you can check it out separate on the uh, on the web, probably. Um, awesome. So uh, with that, we got. Uh, do we, should we continue talking Google Glass because we have a lot of it? Hey Mike, would you wear those in a movie theater? Um, I have I have decided not to broach that pro that subject in a movie theater. I select to say I'm going to leave these at home or in the car whenever that comes up. Um, but apparently, uh, a, a man did say 
I'm going to wear them to the movie theaters because I got the lenses. I, I think I mentioned earlier, he paid $600 for the lenses. It also wasn't the first time he wore it to a movie theater. No, I. So I was reading this article uh, before the show, and uh, let me get up to the top of it here. Uh, so this is a guy. He's going to the 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 AMC in Easton Mall in Columbus, Ohio. So not mm-hmm. only a, about four hours away from where we're at here. That's a that's a pretty fancy place too. Fancy place. He I, I don't know. I don't know if that makes a difference or not, but just uh, for the sake of context, right. you're very Colum- um, you're, You are very Columbus minded. Yes. Yes, um, my hometown. So uh, he's, he's going to see Jack Reacher. No, not Jack Reacher. Um, Jack Ryan. It's the name Jacks, apparently. Um, and he, in according to this, let me just, just kind of reacquaint and, and summarize here. Uh, he had been to, this is like the third time, I think, he was wearing it to this theater. They, the ticket terrors have asked about it, and oh, that's cool, and, and let him go. He has, at least in this instance, turned it off so he's not wasting battery. It's not popping up, chiming in front of the movie. I, I think I would do the same thing if I decided to do this. Um, in this case, he, a guy comes near his seat, and this is according to the article, uh, the gadget, the hyphen gadgeteer.com, if you want to check this out. Um, and we'll also tweet it out for you guys here. I think we have before. Uh, but I'll send this article out again. Um, so, uh, sorry, tweet. Um, so a guy comes near his seat, shoves a badge that has some sort of shield on it, yanks the Google Glass off his face, and says, follow me outside immediately. Um, when if somebody, if, yeah. So what happens beyond this is um, they, they take him, they question him, there's a bunch of mall cops and regular cops um, in the end he finds out this, these guys were from the Department of Homeland Security which I didn't think they dealt with pri- uh, piracy issues um, apparently the theater had called in that there had been a lot of instances of piracy at that theater for that particular film so they were already watching it so as far as, you know, I don't think the theater is at fault here as far as saying one time saying, hey, you know, there was something else going on. So I think in general, the theater probably doesn't care in the long run. I don't know how they typically police something like this as far as like people trying to, you know, film movies and everything. Um, so they questioned him for, um, I think they said the movie started at 745. He got out of there about, I think it said about 1130. Mm-hmm. So they questioned him mm-hmm. for so long, wouldn't let him said, hey, plug it in, look at the pictures, you'll see that I wasn't doing anything. Here, look at my phone too. Finally, after all this time, they did They did look, they went one by one through all the pictures, even though they're time stamped and everything. Um, and uh, yeah, it, it, and they gave him, the, the, they explained uh, the, 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 you know, what, why they were there. Um, they gave him movie passes so they can go back and see the movie again. Um, they had separated him from his wife to question them separately. Yes. Um, wow. I kind of don't want to anymore. <laughs> right? <laughs> I mean, I, I mean I obviously this is like an overblown reaction, but I mean, there's been no statement by anybody that these are not allowed in movie theaters. Again, mm-hmm. not a lot of them are out there that maybe this is just the first time we're hearing that there was an incident. Um, I don't know. What do you guys take on this? I, I, would you be afraid to do it? Or you just want to like, I want to see what happens. I, I have enough contrarian in me that I, I would be really, really curious. I, I would I'd be really tempted to wear them in a movie theater uh, just, just for this reason. Um, <laughs> the, the whole thing, uh, it, it, I, I'm, I'm, I'm really surprised at, at, at how quickly uh, this can be, it makes, makes me sort of wonder if, if someone had noticed him or noticed uh, the other glasswares before. I don't, I don't know how many glasswares there are in Columbus. Um, yeah. But um, it, it, it's just, uh, you know, the, the rest of the world is not is not kind of caught up with the notion of how this stuff works and, and, and what it does and, and what it doesn't do. Um, I, I I I don't know. I I I would be I'd be really tempted to to give it a try once just to just to see um, maybe go see a movie they don't care about so much. 
<laughs> oh, if I got if I got if I got to go miss the next you know the, let's the, the go to a mat yeah let's go to a matinee huh uh, I kind of want to try using it in different places like maybe government buildings <laughs> like <laughs> you want like like a, like a DMV or a post office nothing like really or like. I mean, not not like a courtroom or anything, because they don't even allow you to have cell phones or anything like that in there. But, but like, or a strip club, or something. Just oh, you wouldn't get inside a strip club. Oh, they, they, somebody no. tried that. Did you see the video? Somebody tried no. that. No. They uh, someone it was tried New, that. It was a little closer to when it was released. Uh, yeah. It was a New York City strip club. Um, they walked in. I, the 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 bouncer asked them what it was. They explained to the bouncer what it was. You know, maybe the bouncer wasn't entirely. Can't think he was tech savvy. Um, he goes in. He ends up getting all the way up to the bar. There's the strip club there. There's the bar. The bartender, uh, the girl at the bar, actually said, hey, what are those? And started questioning him about it. And then yeah. called a manager over. And then the manager said, yeah, you got to take those off. And he wanted him to check them. And he's like, explain how expensive they were. And said, doesn't leave your pocket. So yeah. um, there you go. <laughs> Yeah, well, there goes that idea then. So, so, that, so, so that's happened. Um, I, I wonder about uh, what, what professional applications that, that that I might have. I mean, and I can I can think of it as um, uh, Beaver County. We have a, a nuclear power plant. Um, the uh, company that runs that power plant is very very sensitive about anyone who stops even on public property to take pictures. Mm. Um, uh, there have been times, uh, to, to just just by way of example, there's it's an odd situation. There is a, a church that has been in this town forever. It, it sits on its own property, but with the exception of the driveway down to the church, it is completely surrounded by by property that is owned by the by the power company by First Energy. Um, and even standing, there have been instances where we have been standing with permission of the church church's owners on their property and taking picture of the stuff around us. Um, security from First Energy will show up and ask us what we're doing and, and, and try to tell us to not take pictures. Um, in that instance, you know, I, I wonder about how tech savvy maybe those security guards might be. Um, I wonder, you know, it, it's one thing if I've, I've got I'm with a photographer who's got a camera with a, 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 a 300 lens on it. The, ca- the photographer has to put the, the camera down. Um, but in the meantime, I'm sitting there winking at the power plant, <laughs> taking pictures. Here's looking at you, power plant. There's, there's some interesting, there's some interesting possibilities here. Yeah, yeah, I, I think that's. I mean, I mean, I've only pushed the envelope as far as um, I, I will go to a small town where I expect more questions. You know what I mean? Um, mm-hmm. I put it on the top yeah. of my head when I go to the bathroom. Am I going to do that when I have prescription lenses? Yeah, I'm probably going to have to, but I think I can find my way around the bathroom. <laughs> yeah, that'll probably, that'll you probably, hope. You hope, hope you can let's find hope, your way Let's around. hope I can, I can figure this out. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I think, yeah, and this is, this is part of that feeling out process, right? Uh, we have that. We have a story. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I think just in this last week, they did um, uh, release the charges on a lady in California that got caught with Google Glass on while she was driving. Uh, they did state they did, they did state the current law, it does it makes sense. It, it doesn't apply to it as long as there's no proof that it's on. Um, which, you know, how do you prove that really? Um, but the burden is on on the cop in that case. Um, but again, I think they did uh, open up like I can't I think the judge said I can't imagine there won't be a lawsuit for this. In, in, yeah. You know, yeah. it, and, and, and I think it has to be addressed, you know, and I think there will be a car mode or something for this thing. You already see it on certain GPS apps. Uh, mm-hmm. my, my Waze app can tell that I'm driving and and say, hey, are you the passenger if you want to go do this thing right now in this application? Yes. Yes, I've seen that, too. Mm-hmm. I've seen that, too. I, I don't know. I mean, I asked you before sort of what, what your your personal comfort level is uh, as you as you got your your glass glasses back mm-hmm. um but but the bigger thing um uh, obviously still and, and will be for a long time the bigger thing is is everybody else's comfort level that that's yeah. going to be sort of uh, uh the, the, what what measures how useful these things are at least in the short run yeah and, um, and i judge that a lot I, I get a lot of looks we go do uh we go do hangouts every monday here and, and it's usually with um the PA students at the one place I work, this uh, uh, mm-hmm. behavioral health uh, center. 
Um, and it's interesting to see their reactions. A lot of times they don't say anything about it, but it is kind of interesting to see, like, what is this but they thing looking at me? You know, and they're younger, <laughs> and, they're, so, and they're, you know, they're, they're, they're PA students, so they're in college. Yeah. Yeah. So maybe there, there may be a little more like, what, you know, what, what is this thing? Or, or, oh, I know those, you know. Um, so I don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah, it, it, it is interesting. Nobody's like shied away from me. You know, mm -hmm. I thought I would run into one person by now that says, like, don't look at me, at least not playfully, you know, because yeah. um, I've definitely had, you know, people screwing around. I was like, stop taking naked pictures of me, you know, walking around the, <laughs> you know, you know, after a wrestling show or something, you know, fully clothed, by the way, um, okay. thinking that I have x-ray vision <laughs> as part of this. So um, that's that's in Google Glass 3 update. Yeah, that's Google right. Glass 3. Right. Wink and yeah. yeah. Speaking of yeah, you you blink to activate the X-ray and then you wink to take X-ray pictures. Speaking That's... of odd uses, this is this is actually a good week for glass news. We haven't really done this for a while, um, and I didn't put it in the rundown. I'm sorry, uh, guys, but uh, it should be easy to find. So there is somebody working on an app. Remember, there was a parody um, back when you know a few months ago over the summer, I think that was a, a glass porn parody where you could see through people's clothes, and you could see each other's, you know, view if you're both wearing glass. Well, they did that last part, for real. <laughs> so apparently there's, okay. a glass, there's a glass app that they're working on um, that uh, you will see, you're, like, say both you and your partner are wearing glass, you see the view from the other person in your glass. Mm. Okay. Okay. Uh, All right. Okay. Anna records the video, and the the, the video will auto delete after five hours, so you can go back and review it. You know, if you're so working on it's technique, like I guess. sex vines. Um. <laughs> no, you're thinking. No, no, you're thinking like sex glass, glass chat. Yeah, yeah. It's like it's yeah, it's glass chat. <laughs> That's perfect. So you gotta think. Any picture I take with this thing goes straight up to the cloud. <laughs> so I don't think I would want to take anything like that. Um. Unless you're using a different app, like apparently, apparently this one. Um, yeah, so there's that. You want to wrap your heads around that one? Hmm. Uh, <laughs> uh, interesting choice of phrasing there. Sort. Yeah. 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 Right. Right. <laughs> we'll just let you guys simmer on that. We have some comments. Oh my God, we got some comments. Riz says that that Google should sponsor the Jamaican bobsled team. And get everyone just crazy. Um, well, if it's turned off, why wear it? I think he's talking about the theater earlier. Um, if right. it's your prescription glasses and you don't bring other prescription glasses, then then you're wearing it. Um, and you you know you're not just going to the theater. I imagine in an evening, uh, maybe they have the glass app for sex. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, Chachi uh, says they can hold him for 24 hours without charging him. Yes. True. Um, I'm breaking the internet. I'm breaking the internet. Uh, Google Glass would be awesome at the DMV. <laughs> would it? Uh, is there anything awesome about the DMV? I, uh, 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 can, can we get Chris on to, to explain? Yeah, where is it? Because I'm, I'm missing. I'm missing. Put it, it. put it in the chat room there if you want. Actually, if you have one, I can maybe bring him up. Uh, in the, we did have mm. one standby for tonight. Uh, we'll see. We'll see if I can bring him in. And he can explain that. Um, okay. So while that's happening, uh, I do have some other stories here. For instance, okay, we did. We actually we talked about the theater. We talked about. Oh, uh, this was passed along to me. The Sacramento Kings are uh, getting very techy here. Well, they have to do something. It's bad. Does anybody watch basketball? Am I just like out of the I, and so I watch basketball on occasion. The I Sacramento mean, Kings are not that good. So I mean, uh, the Sacramento Kings actually are are, are really bad. Uh, Fourteen and twenty-five in last place in the Pacific Division of the Western Conference. Um, so why not go? No, I'm sorry. In last place in the Western Conference. Period. Yeah. So according to this article, so they got to do something. They got to do something. <laughs> according <laughs> they, to this article, they were almost sold last year. Um, they, are, they are also accepting bitcoins, letting fans purchase merchandise and tickets by March first using the virtual cur currency. Um, wow, they are kind of desperate. Okay, it's Sacramento, which I mean, that's not a big town, right? Um, 
It's it's not it's, it's not modest. A small town. It's either. modest, Sacramento's. right? Um, I, I just dawned on me, wow, I, I, I know where Sacramento is now, and I was like, they have a basketball team? Will they put those things anywhere? <laughs> but not Pittsburgh. Not, I, I don't, not Pittsburgh. Not Pittsburgh. Oh. Ah, we got Pitt, I guess. Um, but no, and there's actually a video uh, here of them using glass. Uh, apparently, it's, it's them, it's not playing it during the game, it seems. It's just like them coming out um, in, in that view. You know, here's the, the, the pep talk and everything. Um, and then them walking out to the court. Is a player wearing this? I, yeah, it's a, I think it's a yeah. player. Okay. I think it's now, a we player. were talking about sports before, and actually, yeah. I mean, there are there are players who wear prescription lenses during games. True. Um, it, it would I, I would think it would have to be a, a pretty heavy heavily modified pair. Um, there's something made made specifically for for that application, but I don't I don't know why you couldn't. Wear those in an NBA game. Yeah, it's a little, um, it, it is a little bulky. I think you know the way it kind of hangs out. But I think mm-hmm. eventually you're going to get like modified versions of this mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. are going to work for this. We just and, need and more that, that would be an yeah. interesting perspective. And I think you're going to see more of that. I mean, I mean, uh, uh, <laughs> now I'm getting chatted. Um, <laughs> you can't hear things. <laughs> oh, he, yeah, I turned that thing down for him. He should be able to do that now. Um, <laughs> but he, I'm sorry, the chat popped up on everybody's face. <laughs> I'll take care of that. I'll take care of that. Riz, are you with us? I think I got, at least got your audio here. Riz, are you with us? Maybe I didn't. All right, that one's broken. This isn't going to work. That's what I get for trying to do something live. Um, oh, Riz. Move on to the next story here. Uh, <laughs> hey, you know, uh, 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 this one's uh, The Verge says, go ahead and share your HBO Go account. HBO doesn't mind. Good, because I do. <laughs> so, so I can be honest, I'm completely getting mine from my dad. <laughs> I pay for his cell phone, he gives me people. HBO. It's a, it's a wash. Um, <laughs> that was, I mean, that was the president of, the, of HBO saying that, correct? Yeah, that, that was, and uh, this is the same that, guy. That's a pretty high-level endorsement. These are the same guys. Yeah, exactly. Uh, these are the same guys that that said, "Oh, you know, hey, we're kind of honored to be the most pirated thing with Game of Thrones." Which I think it was actually mm-hmm. a producer or director on the show or something, uh, somebody mm-hmm. working with it. Uh, so, but but still, somebody this high up says, uh, uh, "Hey, go for it." Uh, let me see if I can get their statement, because it was pretty good. Um, one quote, I'm simply telling you it's not a fundamental problem. Um, it's actually not material to our business growth. So they're not worried about the online stuff? I guess. Well, not- I mean, they don't charge anything for HBO Go. No, it's included. It's wrapped it's right. in, right? Yeah, it's just something that's included with HBO. So... The big quote is, uh, it presents the brand to more and more people and gives them an opportunity, hopefully, to become addicted to it. Yeah, sure. If you it, like those things. It, 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 I'm curious about it from the, from the perspective of you know working for a newspaper that, that uh, put up a paywall last year. Mm-hmm. Um, and and the, you know, the notion that, that uh, uh, the free content versus, uh, versus content that you have to pay for... Um, I don't know. There's there is something to be said for just getting it it's in front of as many people as you can. Um, and if anyone has an HBO to go password that they'd like to share, um, <laughs> go ahead and take go. That, that would be that would be a cool thing. There you go, Riz. I think you're with us. Do I have audio from you? I do not have audio from you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll work on that for later. Uh, oh wait, 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 wait. Say something again. Um, here, sir. There he is. I just had to turn him up a little good bit. Uh, uh, Riz, tell us, tell us your DMV Google idea. Well, this is actually for like people, driving instructors. Okay. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. You see what I'm uh-huh. like? Just having those visuals of those first-time drivers driving, taking their <laughs> test, and hopefully not dying. Yes. That's a, um, that's a freaking TV show is what that is. Yeah. That's yes. what needs to happen here. And they can actually use that as a tool to see what they look like in the passenger seat of them driving. <laughs> <laughs> but also, wouldn't it be fun 
to have the picture of them just sitting there waiting for their number to be called. Just waiting in line. <laughs> what is what is what you you've been thinking about this? Like have you been I'm stuck in the sweater. DMV thinking don't about they, this? Don't they have stuff it's like that right. in like Europe? Like, with like the dash webcams cams? mounted to the cars? Well, yeah, R- Russia has the dash cams. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, wouldn't that be interesting, though? Um, as, now I'm thinking, like, wouldn't that be interesting as kind of like a black box that, like, you know, maybe something's going to connect with these things so you know where the attention was with the driver, for instance. Hmm. You know, you know that they looked down at the at the radio knob too long or something, right? Or they're texting, you know? Uh, like maybe like yo you like hey kid you need to wear this just like we say hey teenager here's a phone now I can see everywhere you're at thanks to uh, you know uh, find kind of my like phone a and, and and stuff. unless of course they're looking at the thing in the actual screen yeah, that's that too you know <laughs> well, <laughs> again yeah. Yeah, right. <laughs> we're presuming they've already solved the car mode problem right. <laughs> so, <laughs> Riz, thanks for that. We're gonna have to work on your audio here for the next show here. Uh, but yeah, you just, just stay on the line. And we'll have you on for boss battle here in a little bit, if you'd like. Um, so, <laughs> with that, uh, so Sacramento Kings, they got the glass. They got the. Oh yeah, wait, wait. We're on the HBO thing. Um, but no, cool. <laughs> Good for HBO. They're like, they're like, you know, in one stroke, the most progressive yet tied down you know, uh, property out there uh, with, with the cable subscription. So, so, so as long as you have a friend that you didn't talk into cutting the cord, you're good to go. Right. Well, the deal, this thing was happening with Netflix, too. Mm-hmm. Remember, you would always get the streaming. Um, and then, like, like I, I know a few people that says, well, you know, my mom gets the Netflix discs, and I just get the streaming. And we pay, you know, at the time, it was seven ninety nine to get both, you know. Mike, are you okay well, I mean, now on Netflix, they even have, like, you can create separate accounts if you do share an account. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I, which, um, now, you do have to be careful, because I know there's a certain, there's a limited number of streams you're allowed, which I think is, like, two on a regular account. Of course, you can get, you can pay a dollar less and have SD streams for one device, you know, now. Um, so, I mean, there, there is some limitations. They'll see the IP address there. Um, I think I was having a little bit of a permission issue when I was watching Netflix at work and then watching out, watching here. Um, like, I, I think it gave me a little bit of a warning. Nothing severe. That, it was just like, no, I approve this. And, and it was, it was, it was cool to go. That, that'd be an interesting thing to try. Yeah. Hmm. Um, and I know, like, you know, here, I don't know how many devices I try here. You know, it's like <laughs> take the thing with the screen. All, all of them. And, but, yeah, pretty much. You know, you, you guys heard my <laughs> idea. I want to test this to the max on WWE Network and put WrestleMania on every tablet and and computer in the place, you know, and, and just like you are watching WrestleMania, no matter where you are in the house, um, and just you know go go to town on that. We were, we we're going to push this thing. We might single handedly bring down the WWE Network <laughs> in one night. One man with eighteen devices brought down an entire network. How did you even get that on your Google Glass? That's not even possible right now. Um, <laughs> One last thing. Let's throw it back. Let's go old school, guys. Let's go. I found this on, on uh, Google+. Plus. Uh, somebody had posted, you know, bring up the picture. Let's go all the way back. You guys used to get the Radio Shack ads. Oh, yeah. And you look through yeah. them, and that was like the height of gadgetry. And, of course, I'm getting a server error, so I can't get the picture to come up. Thank you, technology. Um, <laughs> this is a 1991... Radio Shack ad I'm going to bring up here. Um, and we'll, we'll include this so you guys. For on President's audio. Day. For President's Day in 1991. By the way, 0% interest. Thank God. <laughs> Finally. So, <laughs> and, and the comment from this from, oh my God, your name I can't pronounce. Alariza v- Yavari. Yavari, yes. Yes. Um... And the comment was, uh, uh, everything on this ad you can now do with your cell phone. Has anyone totaled all the stuff? 
that, that, it's on that the you screen. pay for? I don't this, know. There's case? a sixteen hundred dollar Tandy computer for one thing, introductory special, saving six hundred and seventy dollars. Uh, there's a phone. <laughs> there's a hundred and sixty dollar CD player, portable CD player, for a hundred and sixty dollars. <laughs> there is a camcorder wow. for seven ninety nine. That's that's on sale by like a hundred bucks. Um, um, I know, I know Fuzzwad said he recognized that. I think his parents had one and paid almost a grand for it. Uh, it kind of blew his mind. There is a CB radio, um, on here for $50, half price, by the half way. Half price, half price. Thank there God. is an answering machine. Uh, our easiest to use phone answerer. Is that the technical term? For 50 bucks. For 50 uh, bucks. A phone answer. Phone. Why is it only cut 17%? <laughs> that's it. Yeah, it's kind of an odd number. Um, speed dial phone, speakers, um, headphones. Uh, like a, oh, a calculator. <laughs> it's it's kind of fun. It's kind of fun to look back at this thing and uh, and kind of realize like, yep, yep, it's all. And right yet, Sorg, yes. Sorg, only seven dollars and eighty eight cents for earbuds back then. Yeah, there's something to keep in mind. That's tech. That's technology that has not progressed. Yeah, and then, <laughs> wait, and then we're paying like thirty bucks for the Apple ones. Yes. Yes. All right. <laughs> With that, and of course, we don't have uh, unfortunately Chili here for. I don't. Did he insert anything for uh, any calendar events? I don't think there's anything really coming up this next week uh, off the top of my head, at least. Um, yes, they had ads. <laughs> I remember getting the fly. I don't remember uh, the the one page like two color flyer like they had here but i remember like the full color you know kind of radio shack ad and mm -hmm. it was always just like okay here's something you know here's a computer here's this and then here is like random brand name rc cards for instance who buys their kids toys from radio shack i had a couple you when a couple? i was little I rc an rc card um there's probably some other stuff I think my I think my mom car was. I, already I ran that, I ran that car to death too. <laughs> it was fun. It was fun. Yeah. Um, oh, hey, I bet they had some great caller ID boxes for 19.99. Says Spoon actually um, <laughs> in the chat. Google Glass has been banned, restricted from school. Oh, had has Hi, Google Glass been banned and restricted from uh, gla uh, from school yet? I can't imagine they let them in schools right off the bat. And I'm surprised we haven't seen a story about it. But then again, uh, what, here, what, no. what high schooler no. is, is is able to drop 1500 bucks on this thing? You know? Not in any of the schools that I cover. No. no. Need to happen. Um, and from, oh, and we lost Mike on that. <laughs> well, he, he dropped beforehand. All right. And, and oh, he, also he says, um, oh, I lost it. Uh, by the way, no one in Pittsburgh willing to watch professional basketball unless there are indoor fireworks. <laughs> That's probably accurate. Uh, uh, that's totally accurate, yes. Yes. All right. Uh, so I guess we should get out of here so we can get ready to talk video games here in about 20 minutes. Uncle Crappy, Mike Pound, thank you. Oh, wait. We, we talked to you about your video show here. Uh, yeah, actually, um, I... I I, you guys have a uh, Dawson cast viewers will know that I, I read a weekly sort kind of consumer tech column for the times. Yeah. Um, we've started a new video show. I am the uh, four episodes in at this point. Um, it, it gets posted uh, every other week on uh, Wednesday evenings and it's about beer. Um, and I'm, I'm totally going to defend uh, beer as a subject for a, a, a nerdy kind of podcast like the awesome cast. Oh yeah. Um, because there's plenty to geek out about. Um, it's going to be uh, fairly uh, locally focused. Uh, Pittsburgh, I may venture north to, to Meadville for Voodoo Brewing or to St. Mary's for Straub or something like that. Um, but, the, but the centerpiece is going to be a video show. Uh, I will write a, a thing to accompany, accompany it every every week. Um, you can see those at timesonline.com slash beer guy. Uh, there is also a Facebook page that I hope to turn into sort of an ongoing discussion about uh, a beer in the area. That is facebook.com slash BC times beer guy. Um, and, and you can see some of that stuff. Uh, uh, I was just on the radio on KDK last night, uh, so there are pictures of, of me with Rob Pratt trying to get him to drink beer uh, other than what he normally drinks, which is PBR and Icy Light and fun stuff like that. 
Good, I, I'm gonna have to work on him. But um, but it's been it's been it's been really cool so far. I, I'm having a good time. Uh, videos will get better. Hey, there I am with Hart Johnson, uh, the uh, salaryman at uh, Piper's. Um, so it, that's and that's that's a good illustration of what it's gonna of what we're gonna be doing. A lot of behind the scenes stuff. Uh, gonna taste a lot of beer along the way, um, and hopefully get the kind of people thinking about. Uh, what what sort of beer is available beyond you know the, the buds and the Bud Lights and the Millers and the Miller Lights and all that stuff? Just wanted to open everyone's eyes a little bit. That's awesome. I, and and I, I did see the trailer before, mm -hmm. Um, mm -hmm. and I'm really I'm really digging the look of this. Like it looks it looks really decent. It looks like something I see on QED almost. Um, Thank you. From 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 peeking at this thing. What are you shooting with? Um, I, I <laughs> the the first the first couple episodes and the uh, in the trailer mostly were shot with uh, with my iPhone. Um, I, I now have a, a it, it's it's too hard for me to, to think about what I want to do, um, what I want to accomplish in the show and set up shots. So uh, we have one of our, our videographers nice. uh, who's who's going to be board along. She's doing all the shooting. Uh, I edit the shows, um, so they're going to look a lot better. That's that's going to help. Good. good. Um, and uh, because it, she's she's very very good, uh, and she has better gear than I do, so <laughs> they, they don't let they don't let me play with the really expensive toys, which is probably smart. Probably the best idea. Probably the best. Idea. <laughs> awesome. And I see you've also been doing a lot of hangouts on on Google Plus. Um, that uh, that's a whole other venture, um, and those will those will be dormant for a little while. Uh, I write I contribute to a sports blog called Draft Day Suit. Uh, it, it is at DraftDaySuit.com. Uh, Carla Swank, uh, formerly of Pittsburgh, now of mm -hmm. Nashville. Um, she's joining us. She's joining us on the show. Yeah, yeah, and a former colleague of mine. Um, we're both sort of college football freaks, so we did a weekly show, kind of picking uh, a few games each week. Um, we do those. Uh, for hangouts, there's me in, in my Ohio State gear. There's Carla trying not to laugh at me. Um, <laughs> we'll probably do a, a college basketball show or two uh, later in the season, um, and then we'll we'll resurrect that show, the Carla and Crappy Show, uh, probably late summer as a college football season gets started again. Awesome. I, I love that. It, it, and we've been doing a lot of experimenting with, like, Wrestling Mayhem Show and everything, and mm -hmm. it's actually – spun out these after shows uh, uh for for like raw and everything uh, yeah. i'm loving to see like people saying hey let's do this you know let's let's just jump in to hang out and do something you know yeah. and yeah. It's, it's really accessible I, i've noticed like a lot of people that have like say left a network of podcasts have said well we'll just use mm -hmm. google hangout and record then it, it is so easy um the the, 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 the quality is nice it's simple to do uh for for the last show that uh, uh one of the last shows that co and i did for the season we kind of picked some of the minor bowl games to talk about um her boyfriend and uh another uh one of his colleagues both work for athlon sports they the one of the companies who put out all the the the, the preview magazines um they they do a, a podcast for athlon uh, uh Braden does a, a show on xm uh, actually so we, we, we it's just easy. We pulled these guys into a hangout, uh, did a, a quick 15 minute show, um, bang, minor edits and it's, and it's posted, you know, um, it, it, it is such a nice platform. Uh, and it, it makes this kind of stuff really easy. And, and if you want to do something spontaneous, pretty, pretty, pretty quick as well. Yeah. And that's, that's exactly what we're doing here on Mondays is we're, I mean, we're mm -hmm. just doing like one person or one, a group of people in a room, but it's an yeah. easy way for us to just turn it on, hit record and we're really trying to make it so, because they have a lot of kind of presentations, so mm -hmm. we're really trying to make it so somebody who's there, you know, can just, you know, pull out the webcam, pull out the microphone, set it up, hit record, yep. it's broadcasting and recording, and I go clean it up when I come in Monday. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's, that's, uh, that's what we did for the Carl and Crappy Show, basically. Um, cut off the uh, cut off front end, cut off the back end, uh, you know, stick an intro on it. Um, there might be something, a picture or two that I insert, somewhere in the middle and that's it that's it we're ready that's to go awesome. that's awesome yeah and mike you've been i know you've been doing the the, the hangouts uh with us that we've been talking about for the mayhem show is he back i think he's back are you there back? he is i see him yeah and yeah and we and we did the um yeah yeah <laughs> the, the white walkers were chewing on the internet oh i see um, <laughs> but um yeah i mean we also did a hangout like with a live commentary over Ray to Rumble. That's right. And, yeah. And that was really kind of interesting. 
<laughs> yep. Um, yeah, we're definitely encouraging everybody on the network and everything to just kind of experiment with, with that. Awesome. So go check that out. Timesonline.com slash beer guy. And of course, uh, your Twitter at BCT Mike Pound. Yep. And Mad Mike, he's at Mad Mike 4883 He joins us on the Wrestling Mayhem Show and all the other kind of stuff we work on over there, WrestlingMayhemShow.com. Yes. Anything to talk about? No. Plug? Um, anything? Watch wrestling. Yeah. <laughs> well, and look for us on Thursday nights when we do the TNA Hangout, and something tells me we're just going to get angrier and angrier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been good. They've been just like, I'm... It, and that's the thing that gets the most responses, them just thrashing this show. Um, so uh, with that, and no, uh, Jolo John, we did not see these, say the C-A-N-D-Y word. Um, apparently somebody is trying to copyright that word. But I think we're going to be talking about that tonight on the uh, Boss Battle show. Uh, and I think there's an article. I think I saw an article. Went Mandy Moore is going to be pissed. I know, right? Um, <laughs> I'm pretty Mandy sure. Mandy Moore is going to be very upset about this. I think I saw an article go up on insertcoinbegin.com, uh, so you can check out information about what's going on there as well. Guys, thanks By for the way, lot. Sork, yeah. I'm going to copyright the word boobs. <laughs> I'm going to copyright the word boobs. Hey, you know. If we can just start copywriting words now, either that or bacon, one or the other, I'll, I'm going to get rich. Surprised nobody oh got the BAC version. Uh, thanks, guys. Uh, bad Mike in, in uh, New York. And, of course, uh, Uncle Crappy, our Mike Pound here in, uh, in Pittsburgh as well. Um, you guys can join us. We're at live.sorgatronmedia.com uh, every uh, Tuesday night. It almost made me say Thursday, man. Um, every Tuesday night at seven or 6.30, dang, 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time. <laughs> join us uh, 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 on Twitter at AwesomeCast. Uh, awesome cast at sorgatronmedia.com we're on iTunes, Roku, Blip TV, YouTube Spreaker as well I already got a, a good bit of views over there on Spreaker so go check that out uh, and you can join us here and let us know any stories uh, you think you'd like us to talk about I know Juggalo John, everybody in the chat Riz with the DMV thing sure uh, <laughs> you have been helping us out here uh, it's great, I love that it's a big group of people that gets to talk tech and geek out about stuff like this um, so, uh, we have, uh, scheduled a podcaster at Mr. Berg's Eye View himself, Hutch, which I don't think we've had on, have we had him on the show? We might have had him on a Ooh. pod camp show or something like that. Uh, so we'll be talking to him, uh, a, a week from now. And we got, uh, uh, Jim Loke did reschedule and he should be joining us, uh, here, uh, uh, the first week of February. And we know he'll be free because the Pats didn't make the Super Bowl. Uh-oh. <laughs> so he'll be joining us, and I think we have some other uh, fun people coming. We're trying to get everything, mixing it up, getting a big schedule. If there's anything you think, we, anybody you think we should have on the show, please let us know at any of those outlets, and uh, we'll try to loop them into the schedule here. Uh, thanks again. The trio of mics tonight. We'll see you guys next time. Uh, thanks to our awesome chat room. You've been our awesome audience. Have an awesome week. <laughs>